the coaches on the road at U.S. Cellular Field with the White Sox as they take it on the Texas Rangers, and we ran across the man for the White Sox, Matt Thornton. How we doing today? Doing all right. And it's every kid's dream to play Major League Baseball. You're playing Major League Baseball, you made it. So what's that feeling like? Oh, it's a dream come true, I tell you. I mean, I, I've, I've dedicated my life to sports in general. You know, I've, uh, high school, I, I, I played sports, that's all I did. I didn't do anything, you know, I look back at it now, I didn't do anything like the fun high school or college things. I, I just played sports, that's all I did. I played sports and worked in school to make sure I kept my grades up. And, and uh, you know, I was actually a better basketball player in high school and college, and baseball actually took over uh, when I started putting size on and strength. And next thing you know, a little while later, I'm here and sticking around for a while now. Basketball, you thought you was the next Michael Jordan? Yeah, he was, my, he was my I was his biggest fan, believe me. I love Michael Jordan, but I was looking more for the uh, Bill Lambeer, throw some elbows and, you know, knock some threes down from the top okay. of the key. Yeah. All right, so now baseball took over. I mean, when did you know baseball was your, your future? Uh, when they came after me, I started learning about things, and, and they had to break me down. I, I was real raw. I was just, I was tall, I was athletic, and I threw hard. So, uh, but, you know, I didn't have any kind of mechanics and stuff, so they had to completely break me down in Seattle. Built me back up, went through some injuries, all that kind of stuff, and uh, you know, got traded over here and kind of took off when I got here. So how hard were you throwing? Uh, in college, about 94, 94. and then uh, when I blew out my elbow, uh, I came back from that. You know, my mechanics got better, got stronger through rehab and all that, and uh, next thing you know, I was throwing in the upper 90s. Upper 90s? How come I couldn't find you when I was coaching college <laughs> ball? <laughs> I was throwing the ball to the backstop every time. Oh, you know? that yeah. was okay. Yeah. Now, in that road, college, what was college like for you? It was a whirlwind, man. I tell you, it was, uh, like I said, I was playing two sports in college, plus, you know, obviously you have to keep your grades up. Mm -hmm. I remember flunking my very first biology test in college, and I was terrified. I thought, you can't tell the youngsters that. Oh, I did. No, I, I studied for it, I thought I was ready for it, and I flunked it. Uh -huh. I was terrified. Terrified I was going to lose my scholarship and uh, really, really cracked down on the books and got my grades up and, 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 you know, I didn't have any worries about eligibility, but, you know, it was an eye-opener going to college and getting that experience, but, you know, it was one sport to the other all the time. You know, I played summer basketball, uh, you know, obviously basketball season started in the fall through the winter into the spring, and, and then right into baseball, I played summer basketball and baseball, you know, I, I was always busy. You know, I look back, those three years flew by in a blink of an eye. And where did you go to college at? Uh, Grand Valley State University, okay. Division II school over in Michigan, up in the uh, Grand Rapids area, yeah. So you know about this cold weather, so being in Chicago, you're not new to you, huh? Oh, yeah, no, we, we shoveled snow off the baseball field. We did, we did it all, you know, it was just the way it was. Yeah. Now, when you got drafted, I mean, and got that, that, that contract, what was it like for you? Uh, shock. You know, I'm going to school to be a teacher. You know, I had one more year to play basketball and baseball, and, uh, you know, the scouts came around, so I knew something was going to happen. But, uh, you know, it took me in the first round, and it was just uh, an honor. I mean, it was a really exciting time for my family and I, you know, uh, and, and just went forward from there. You know, just kind of rolled with it. What was that role like in the minor leagues for those youngsters out there? Uh, minor leagues, you know, I hit every single level. And, uh, like I said, they were breaking me down, building me back up, and, and getting me mechanically sound and working on a lot of different things. But, you know, I played every level. I played in Everett, Washington. I played in uh, Appleton, Wisconsin, San Bernardino, California, San Antonio, Texas, uh, and Tacoma, Washington before I made it to the big leagues and had a couple of injuries along the way and stuff. So it was a, you know, a lot of long bus rides, a lot of hours in the bus and, and all that stuff. But it was, uh, you know, a great experience. It, it was, a, you know, built a foundation for me of, uh, you know, how to handle hardships and, and when you're struggling, how to learn how to handle stuff when you're struggling. And, you know, kids that, See you guys on TV to understand the major leaguers go through a roller coaster during the course of their career, ups and downs, peaks and valleys. Oh, it's nonstop. You know, whether it's a small one or a big one, that's the thing. When you uh, you see guys that stick around for a long time, they learn how to handle things. You know, I always say, don't go too high with the highs or too low with the lows. When you're going good, don't 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 get don't get arrogant, don't get cocky. Just stay 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 even keeled. And when you're going bad, it isn't that bad. You know, you're you're going to come out of just have, you know to believe in yourself and trust in yourself and keep on going. Now, when you look at the pressures of this, this game, dude, sometimes you get that feeling like I'm just through with it, I'm walking away, I want to give it up. No, never, never. I, I, I love the game of baseball, and uh, you know I've committed my, my life to it. You know, I, I, I spend a lot of time, my, my off season, I take about three weeks off when the season's over, and I work out all but like two days, and that's like Christmas. You know, I, I take a couple days off there for a little break. Uh, you know, work out all off season, and I really dedicate myself to the sport and, and, and what I do. Now pitch it on a major league. I mean, how do you prepare yourself to face major league hitters? 
Uh, well, now I got a good track record against all the guys I face. You know, I've seen pretty much everyone except obviously the rookies coming up, and you learn those guys over time. But it's, it's, it's just I have a history with, with certain guys like Joe Maurer and Josh Hamilton, and, and uh, you know all these great hitters that I've faced in the past. So now it just comes to the point that I, I just you know I know what I've done to them before, and then I try to you know mix and mix it up, or you know if I know what I have success with, I go to that. So when you face these guys, I mean, especially when you first come up, is it intimidation factor when you first start off? Oh yeah, I mean, for me, I mean, these are the guys that you looked up to coming in uh, high school and college, you know. And I remember facing the Yankees of all teams, and, and these guys, I mean, they had Gary Sheffield, Jason Giambi, Alex Rodriguez, Derek Jeter, Jorge Posada, Bernie Williams, you know, all these you know unbelievable players, and you get on the mound, and I mean, you you know these guys, man, you've seen what they've done, and it's you know you really got to focus on what you're doing and, and you know uh, believe in yourself and who are some of the bigger mentors to you along the way Eddie Guardado uh, closer with the uh, Minnesota Twins and Seattle Mariners he was over there when I, when I came from Seattle uh, Jeff Nelson right-handed reliever for for many many years many championships he's got um, you know, my pitching coaches along the way, they were great. You know, Pat Rice and uh, Rafael Chavez, guys that, you know, the normal baseball person won't ever know who those guys are, but, uh, you know, they helped build a foundation for me. Uh, Brian Price, he's in Cincinnati now, uh, was our roving pitching guy and stuff. So, you know, there's a lot. I mean, there's just countless guys that help you along the way. And let me take you back to when you first got that call to the big league. So you walked in that locker room for the first time and saw your uniform. What was that feeling like? Uh crazy I went to Baltimore it was it was it was crazy you know I had an unbelievable flight I mean I was stuck in an airport delayed flights I didn't get there till like three in the afternoon I was supposed to be there the night before they told me to go get some sleep the game got canceled actually because of rain and uh, went out to dinner with the guys they invited me along and uh, about 20 guys and uh, I think we were sitting like a Morton's and uh, sure enough they pulled the credit card roulette trick on me, and and uh, the credit card. They ran my credit card. Luckily, it had enough on it to cover the dinner. I mean, oh, just give it an you're, you're talking a couple. It was like twenty five hundred dollars, something oh. like that. Like, hey, thanks a lot. We'll take care of the tip. And I was just like, I'm in shock. I'm going, oh, no, how am I going to pay for this? This is twenty five hundred bucks. It was a joke. You know, they all paid for it. Yeah. They credited my credit card. Had a lot of fun with me, but. Uh, no, I didn't pitch my first call up, and I got called back up later in the year. And I remember that first outing in Safeco Field, running across the grass, and you don't even feel your legs. You, know, you get you get to the mound, and and you don't even know how you got there. And uh, I threw four innings of shutout ball in my major league debut, and then had some struggles after that. But uh, you know, it was uh, you know, you'll never forget that first one. That's for sure. It, it, it was uh, quite the experience. So you wake up that mo next morning and say that this really just happened. Yeah, seriously. You know, I, I went to the ballpark just excited again. You know, like, you know, I get the pitch, like, no, 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 no. You know, you, you threw four innings. You'll be down for a couple of days. Just, you know, get, be ready to go in a couple of days and stuff. But it's uh, when you're that young and, and naive, you just want to be out there every single day. Coach Sakey Youngs is behind the scene with the man for the White Sox, Matt Thornton. All right, appreciate it. All righty, no problem.